Okay, so for anybody that uses Google business pages as of late, you know that they've been really, really glitchy. And one of the main glitches is in the cover photo. When you upload an actual photo and it does actually adhere to Google's guidelines, which we'll cover, you'll see that it's not approved and it simply doesn't show. It's a really, really aggravating issue. And I'm gonna go through it in this video. Please use the comment section as to go ahead and let me and others watching this how you resolved it I'll show you how I resolved it so as you can see here for one of my clients and one of the business pages I built out for new locations it says that it's not approved even though this is the exact location and I went ahead and I took these photos it's still saying that it's not approved I went so far as to go on a couple of different days I made sure that the GPS on my phone was turned on I took it with my phone I took my Sony a7 III I took it with my Sony camera I went ahead and I didn't edit it even I just went to upload and they were simply not approved so I'm gonna show you the final result which is approved right here you can clearly see that this is in fact the cover photo and it is approved and some of the other ones that weren't approved are showing as well so I'm gonna show you exactly how I achieved that for a client so stick around so even before I dive into that, I wanted to remind you guys that Google business pages, they're trying to just move to the Google search results so that you could go ahead and edit your information here. So before we used to use business.google.com, you'd see all your listings, but now they're trying to do it in the searches here. So you would just have to go to add photo. And from here, this is where you'd switch your cover photo. But a lot of times when you go ahead and upload a cover photo, it simply says not approved and it does so rather quickly within like one to two minutes, which tells me that it's not being approved or not approved by an individual looking at the photos. It's actually happening through an algorithm that's going ahead scanning your photo and seeing if it should or shouldn't be approved. And just to show you that I'm not alone, you'll see here that a lot of the Google business profile help topics are around this issue. Photos not approved. I've uploaded several photos to my business page, just pictures, menu and food, all say not approved, yada, yada. And as you see here, there wasn't really a lot of help by anyone. They went ahead and provided. Someone else said having the same problem. And the resolution was this question is locked and replying has been disabled. Something similar over here. Here's another one this is a tattoo shop where they're saying that their photos aren't approved even though it's legit photos which they're showing right here however with these photos I think I know why they weren't approved it's because of this logo this is clearly an enhanced photo and I think the tattoo artwork might be throwing the algorithm as well because they go ahead and scan photos they don't want you to heavily edit photos they don't want you to put your logo in there they don't want you to do a lot of contrast or saturation or cleaning it up with brush tools and stuff they want it to reflect reality so I believe this is also what happened although it seems like they didn't get any help and also this question was locked and replying was disabled and then I also found a bunch of people inquiring about this on reddit on Quora and so we're gonna go ahead and try to solve this age-old mystery so this here is directly a resource from Google and I'm gonna read it to you word by word so that we can all learn from this what they say is that you have to make sure that our photos and videos follow the guidelines and requirements and comply with Google's content policy. So I'm gonna go ahead and link this in the description, but I really, really urge you guys to go through this carefully and especially read Google's content policy. And this will help you realize if maybe you have an off topic or relevant photo, spam, if you use a stock photo, something inappropriate, like, like there's certain businesses, maybe it's a tattoo shop and they're doing it in an inappropriate place, uh, privacy issues, a whole slew of stuff. And Google has really, really advanced software and algorithms. They go ahead and they detect a lot of these things. Everything from revealing inappropriate body parts to also heavy editing of photos, Google's gonna go ahead and spot that and they're gonna go ahead and flag it and it's not gonna be approved as a cover photo. So right here, they say that the photo guidelines is JPEG or PNG. This is important to note. The size of the photo, they want between 10 kilobytes and five megabytes, which most photos would go under. Now this recommended resolution of 720 pixels by 720 pixels wide is not as important as not going over five megabytes. If you have an image that's 1920 by say 1080 or something like that, it's still gonna work. The minimum resolution, this part is important. It does have to be over 250 pixels tall by 250 pixels wide. 
The quality of the photos should be in focus and well lit and have no significant alterations or excessive use of filters. In other words, the image should represent reality. This is what I want to talk to you guys about. I have noticed that when I go into Photoshop and I go ahead and I use the spot healing brush tool and other tools and heavily edit a photo, a lot of times Google will pick up on that and they will not allow the photo to go through. I've tested this and I could tell you that with accuracy. Also, the whole brightness contrast thing, there's a lot of ways to do it and I think sometimes Google is wrong because let's say your phone, uh, it goes ahead and it adjusts. Like if you take a picture of the building and there's a sky in the background, it'll make the sky really stand out and it looks like it's heavily edited, but it's not. It's just a natural phone picture. But sometimes Google, if they go ahead and they analyze the whole color scheme and the brightness and the contrast, they might think that you heavily edit it and they won't approve it. So play around, get a few different photos and make sure that your GPS is on and that you're not doing anything funny where you're trying to scroll screenshot some old picture offline crop it and post it if their gps location matches up with your location especially when you're taking the picture it should go through no problem and my last piece of advice for you would be when in doubt do nothing because on the one that i showed you it was actually not approved many times and after playing around with the photos i just waited a couple of days and all of a sudden the cover photo showed so give it 48 hours even if it says not approved if after 48 hours it's still not approved then I recommend that you open up a ticket with Google Business Page Customer Support. And that's where you go to the Help Center and then you read through some of the options they have and you go and you contact them through email and then hope that they respond back. In all honesty, they don't always respond back. Sometimes you have to prod them two or three times and then finally they'll respond back. And now I know it's frustrating, but once again, I wanna remind you, Google, it's doing us business owners a favor and it's allowing us to use their platform, which is completely free and super, super Super helpful now I know it's really aggravating frustrating and it's not fair when your competition has everything that's working and you don't but keep things in perspective try different things write them don't be rude to them and they will help you get a resolution I can tell you over the years I've been doing this for nearly a decade I had some ridiculous issues like absolutely ridiculous suspended pages for no reason a lot of other things that are just really really harmful to business and it's really aggravating and sometimes it's taken them weeks or even months to resolve, but I haven't had a single case that the Google business support team didn't resolve. So they always get to it, sometimes sooner, sometimes later. Prod them, be respectful, keep things in perspective, take it easy, and I wish you guys a lot of continued success. Let's keep learning from one another. If I miss something, mention it in the comment section. If you had a different resolution, mention it as well. If you're having a problem and you need some specialists to problem solve with you, you can always mention it in the comments as well. I appreciate you guys, and I look forward to making more content like this that's more in line with my business, web development, local SEO, photography, videography, and I'll jump back into doing stocks and crypto at some point. But I appreciate Appreciate you guys. Wish you nothing but the best. I'll see you all in the comments and I'll see you all in the next video.